Hey guys, Chivy here, and uh, welcome back to another tutorial, the, uh, the second tutorial for Adobe Premiere Elements, and uh, today I'm just going to be doing, I've got a bit of, bit of uh, like a bit of a track there for uh, waves, just some waves, ocean waves to do some effects on, and uh, so, let's go into the edit panel. Here you see a lot of effects, but there is one thing that is important for any any effect, depending on what you want to do with it, and that would be keyframes. And if you click this bit, it previews it with your clip. Just a cool little thing which I like to do. And uh, yeah, so what should we use? Let's just use a cool effect that is cool and stuff. Like, what's a cool little effect? We hit edit effects, open up that panel, and uh, here is a little key thing, like with a, a little stopwatch kind of thing, I don't know what you'd call that, with an, a little eject kind of arrow thing, like an eject style arrow, show keyframes, it is labelled as you put your mouse over it. Now, if you click on that, brings up a little, I don't know what you'd call this, but brings up a little, a little, let's just call it a thingy for... Uh, I remember I was just screwing around with that. So if we do this, this, there we go. Please ignore the dying zombies in the background. I think I've got Minecraft open, if you can hear them. And uh, so here we have a bit of waves footage. So let's drag it to the beginning and press this. Li oh, you can't use keyframes on this effect. How interesting. Well, that's awkward. Let's just use lens flare, that's a good effect. Alright, edit effects. So, like, we've got the lovely little thingy. Let's make the flare very bright. Uh, only about this bright. Um, let's make it centered over about. I know it makes no sense. A lens flare across the water. But if you really think about it, it could be reflecting whatever. Just don't, 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 don't do the judging thing. And, uh... So, now if we press this little C, there's a little thing that resembles the watch thingy, stopwatch thing. That is what we call the keyframe representation, or at least what I call you. Press that, put, put in the keyframes, it, it enables the keyframes. And if you do that, um, you can drag the flare center over here, or enter in... Let's just call it 900. That's a bit too much to the left. Let's make it 800. Okay, let's make that 700. Okay, let's just drag it now. And let's just say we want it to go down to the bottom. Da da da, dragging, dragging, dragging. Excuse the sound of my mouse whacking my desk because I drag insanely. Now, and let's just make it so it's a bit dimmer or brighter. What do you say? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go brighter to about here, just for fanciness. Now, uh, hmm, interesting. Where's that little cutout bit? Oh, I think we got rid of that. Oh no, so it's gonna go through the whole thing. So if we get a bit and we cut. You can see that the flare is traveling across there, very making not sense ish like. Totally a word, bro. And uh, yeah, there you have it. And it, you see, it gradually increases in brightness. So now that you know the uh, basics of the keyframe. Uh, next tutorial, we're going to get into more depth with exploring some certain effects, such as, uh, well, I'm not going to give away anything, you know, that would get rid of the fun. I'm going to probably, ah, uh, no, we'll do a separate thing for transitions, and I'm not going to get into any of this. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.